plates burning wine. And they all lifted up here for last in What kind of dream? What and kind of dream? Of is the bowl of burning wine. There is a majestic <laughs> entry that he wants here to make. Here he was. There is a majestic, majestic entry. Burning wine. Second Samuel chapter 23, verse 14 to 17. Second Samuel 23, verse 14 to 17. And David was then in an hold, and the garrison of the Philistines was then in Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, that one will give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. And the three mighty men break through the host of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. Nevertheless, he would not drink thereof, but poured it out unto the Lord. Why? And he said, Be it far from me, O Lord, that I should do this. Is not this the blood of men? that went in jeopardy of their lives. Therefore, he will not drink it. These things did these three mighty men. David's village was Bethlehem. And it happened to be that David had to stay in hiding away from Saul that was looking for an opportunity to smite him. He found a fortress, a cave at Dulam, and that became his recruitment center. And previously in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 22, you will see how that people that were frustrated with life because of the government of Saul began to join themselves unto David. In my studies of... Uh, the ancient Roman Empire, I realized it takes five years to train a legionnaire, someone that is good with the sword, with the shield, with the spear. It takes five years. But David was in that hold for 12 years. So the guys that he was training, he trained them and they became masters, but there was no opportunity for them to test their weapon. <laughs> Hallelujah. And one day, David was passing close to his village and the well that he drank from until he became an adult, he discovered it was part, it was the domain of the garrison of the Philistines. That means there was a minimum of about 2,000 soldiers there and a maximum of about 12,000 soldiers there. And when he, it was not a command he gave them, he said, oh, that one will give me drink. That one will give me what? Drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. And that's how Jesus is groaning in our time. Groaning about the souls in Abekuta. Groaning about the souls in your neighborhood. Who will give me access to that strong domain? And the way Jesus put it was not, the way David put it was not as if he was given a command, it was just a desire. Meanwhile, these guys have been looking for an opportunity to test their skills. So they converted the desire of their master to a commandment. I pray we'll find men on this platform, on this mountain, that will con 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 convert the desire of Jesus into, into, into matching others. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm wondering whether the men were on drugs because they were going to face at least 2,000 armed soldiers. And if you have studied, the Philistines were the ones that discovered iron. So they were, their equipment was state of the art. If you see them armed to the teeth with shin guard and protective devices, and you look at your own sword, you are likely to postponed that battle. But these guys, they went down. And the thing about their going down was that 
at the time where the water will be taken from the well, there will be one man down. How did they protect? I have so many questions about that activity. How did they protect the guy that had to take water? And the well we are talking about is in the desert. It's in the Middle East. It's not the type, you know, really. May the Lord give you understanding. I was in Surulere. That's where my house was. Uh, the, the, um, the guys that came to drill our borehole, uh, if my memory serves me right, they had to go downward 175 feet. So this is Surulere, Lagos. So imagine a well in the Middle East how much time it will take for the guy to draw from that well and the other mighty men defended him they defended anyone that came fell down anyone that came came down until the guy got the water after the guy got the water the guy could not part actively participate in that warfare because he needs to that was how they managed to come back and they gave David the water. You see, David happens to be a disciple of Samuel. There were several prophetic things that Samuel had taught him. So when they brought the water to David, uh, David refused to drink it and poured it out as a libation. In the eyes of David, according to spiritual knowledge, that water was equivalent to the blood of the men that went in jeopardy of their lives. In the realm of the spirit, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, it was blood. Oh, you are not with me. If you lack spiritual knowledge, you will, com you will commit blunders. Let me give you an instance. Many years ago in our church, in those days, we wanted to build. So as long as the building is still in progress, we contribute money every Sunday. We started contributing that money when I had no beard. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Hallelujah. We continued con contributing the money until some strands came. The contribution was still on until I married. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> That's the kind of offering I'm talking about. The, the offering they gather in five nairas, ten nairas, and that kind of offering. It came to pass that our pastor now had, had an invitation to preach in the United States of America. And there was no funding. The only catch, the only catch of funding, of money in the ecosystem was where? <laughs> the building money. So our pastor requested that um, the money be released. The chairman said, no, this money is not for United States. It's for what? For building. He was removed from the position instantly. And a chairman that was willing to disburse, now release the money. True life story, true life. Our pastor went to the U.S. The, the state withheld. Our pastor was beat by a snake. In, in, not in Orile. I said, okay, like a spent all the time the conference time in the hospital without without health insurance and the church had to pay a price somehow they didn't want the pastor to go back empty so they mobilized and the pastor came back shouted on everybody and then gave the equivalent of what was given do you understand but unfortunately according to the shakers of the sanctuary 
the amount that was taken out, the meaning of what was taken out is not exactly the computer equivalent of what was brought in. Oh, you are not with me. Now, if you lack, meanwhile, that was the reason why many people began to die in the congregation. I'm telling you this because I was in the control room, in the prayer room. Yes, we were laboring to find out what is it. And when, if I tell you we prayed, believe me, we prayed. We were praying and people were dying. It took a long time before the spiritual intelligence behind the open door that Satan was exploiting was revealed. That particular money, the way it came, determines its value in heaven. But without spiritual knowledge, you will think it means the same amount that is in central bank. David poured out this water as a libation to God. It's only God that can take this kind of... Hey, be, it, 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 it is not this. It was because of spiritual knowledge that he took that decision. Without spiritual knowledge, you are handicapped. There is a spiritual intelligence that will give you authority to manage a certain situation. And if you have not entered into that corridor and you have not secured it, you don't have the authority to change anything. Even if you are quoting scriptures. May the Lord give you understanding. Hello. I hope you've been greatly blessed by this sermon. Watch out for our next post and don't forget to subscribe, share, and like our videos. Thank you.